Ronan was angry to see the twin head ogre. He assured Asel and Maria that he will take care of the monster. Ronan used his sword to push the ogre's hand away from him. He asked Maria and Asel to quickly start moving. The two girls were still frozen in fear. They quickly put themselves together and ran away from the area. While gritting his teeth, Ronan noticed something odd about the ogre. Ronan saw a magic circle in the ogre's eyes. Ronan realized that he had seen this magic circle before. He remembered that Eduin and Cirilla used the same magic to control the rock giants. Ronan realized that Nebula Clagier is also responsible for their current situation. While Ronan was thinking, the ogre tried to use its fist to crush him. Ronan was able to dodge the attack by jumping. The ogre smashed the ground and destroyed it. Ronan used one of the broken rocks to push himself higher. While in the air, Ronan used his sword to slash the ogre's chest. Immediately Ronan slashed the ogre's chest. He attacked the ogre at a frightening speed. Unfortunately for Ronan, his attacks did not leave a scratch on the ogre's body. Ronan was annoyed to see this. He realized that the twin head ogre still has the same endurance that he remembered. The ogre clenched its fist and rushed to attack Ronan. Ronan was surprised to see the attack. He quickly used his sword to block the ogre's attack. Unfortunately for Ronan, he was not able to completely block the ogre's attack. The ogre used its fist to punch Ronan and send him flying, seeing that he was moving at an insane speed. Ronan quickly pressed his sword into the ground and used it to slow himself down. Ronan's body was trembling due to the pain he felt. He was annoyed to see that the ogre still had the same power as before. The twin head ogre picked up a tree and an orc. The orc screamed as the ogre held it in its hand. The ogre threw the tree and the orc at Ronan. Ronan who was bleeding from his mouth told the ogre that he would have been happy to see it any other day. He told the ogre that he wanted to settle their unfinished business. Ronan told the ogre that it has done something very stupid. He told the ogre that it will regret harming his teammates. Immediately Ronan said this. We see Maria, Asel and Sita helping Brown. Ronan could not believe that the ogre had the courage to harm his teammate in front of him. With a look of anger on his face, Ronan cleaned the blood on his lips and called the ogre a crazy bastard. Immediately Ronan says this. We see the tree and the orc coming towards him. Ronan swung his sword and split the tree in half. Immediately he did this. He rushed to attack the ogre. He jumped on a tree and began to run at a frightening speed. As he got close to the ogre, Ronan jumped from a tree and got ready to attack. The ogre was annoyed to see Ronan. It screamed at him. The reason Ronan could not catch the twin head ogre in his past life was because the ogre had such a tough skin that Ronan could not cut. Due to how strong the ogre's skin was, Ronan could not severely damage it. The ogre stretched its hand up and got ready to crush Ronan in the air. Ronan believed that he could take on the ogre because his situation is now much different. Ronan now had a much powerful sword and techniques which he learnt from instructor Nabiros. While in the air, Ronan took a stance and used the fourth form of Nabiros style. This style is called Revolving Sword. Ronan was certain that he could cut through the ogre with this technique. Wind pressure gathered around Ronan and he flew past the ogre. When Ronan landed on the ground, he put his sword back into its sheath. The ogre turned around and growled at Ronan. With a horrifying look on his face, Ronan asked the ogre to die. Immediately Ronan said this. The ogre's body tore apart. While holding his sword, Ronan realized that he still had a long way to go before he can become strong. Ronan could not believe that he wasted time fighting a weak loser like the twin head ogre. Ronan rushed to meet Asel and Maria. He saw Maria carrying Braum on her back. Ronan asked the two girls if Braum is alright. Maria told Ronan to not be worried. She told him that they have already administered first aid with Sita's help. She told Ronan that they need to take Braum to a professional healer. Maria assured Ronan that Braum will be alright. Ronan was relieved to hear this. He asked the two girls to take Braum out of the mountains. Asel was surprised to hear this, she asked Ronan about what he was going to do. With a serious look on his face, Ronan told Asel that he is going to meet Saranti. The scene shifts and we see Ronan arrive at the temple. Ronan was surprised to see the temple in a ruined state. Ronan did not understand what was going on. He was certain that it has not been long since he left the temple. Ronan did not understand how such a destruction could occur in such a short time. While Ronan was looking around, someone walks up to him from behind. Ronan quickly felt the person's presence and turned around. When Ronan turned around, he saw an injured Saranti. Saranti smiled when he saw Ronan. He was happy to see that Ronan was fine. While struggling to move his body, Saranti apologized to Ronan. 
He told Ronan that he wanted to save him but his body would not allow him to move. Ronan quickly ran to help Sarani. He could not believe that Sarani wanted to help him even though his body was in such a terrible state. Ronan grabbed Sarani and asked him to tell him what happened. He asked Sarani to tell him the name of the person who hurt him. Sarani told Ronan that he is fine. He asked Ronan to calm down. He told Ronan that he needs to leave the temple. He told Ronan that it is good that he was able to survive. Sarani told Ronan that he needs to leave because he did not know when the Church of Nebula Clagier would come to his temple. While Sarani was talking to Ronan, an attack pierced his chest. Sarani was shocked to see the attack. He spat out some blood and fell to the ground. Ronan was shocked to see this. He did not know what was happening. Ronan's body began to shake when he saw Saranti on the ground. Ronan did not understand what was going on. While Ronan was looking at Saranti, a purple light shined behind him. This purple light was Brigia. Brigia landed behind Ronan and told Saranti that he almost killed her. Ronan was surprised to see Brigia. With a creepy smile on her face, Brigia asked Saranti to tell him why he would use such an attack on his former comrade. The moment Brigia cut off Sarani's hand, Saranti used a powerful spell to create a tornado that sent Brigia flying. Brigia could not believe that Saranti would use such a dangerous skill on her just because she cut off his hand. She told Saranti that she could have died from the attack. Saranti was annoyed to hear this. He could not believe that Brigia was still fine. With a unique aura surrounding her body, Brigia told Saranti that she was able to survive the attack thanks to the blessing of the star. With a creepy look on her face, Brigia was surprised to see that Ronan was alive. She never expected to see Ronan again. Brigia told Ronan that he is skilled for surviving his encounter with the Twinhead Ogre. Ronan was annoyed to hear this. He asked Brigia to tell him who she is. Brigia was surprised to hear that Ronan did not recognize her. She quickly realized that Ronan had not seen her in her current form. She decided to reintroduce herself. She used magic to turn part of her hair blonde. With a smile on her face, Brigia thanked Ronan for saving her before. Ronan could not believe that he was looking at the weak elf from before. He realized that Brigia was faking her situation. With a smile on her face, Brigia thanked Ronan for helping her get through Sarandi's barrier. She told Ronan that she will kill him painlessly for helping her. Immediately Brigia said this. She released a large amount of energy. Brigia swung her sword and sent different attacks at Ronan. Ronan was annoyed to see the attacks. He realized that Sarandi was kneeling next to him. When the attacks hit its target, we see the area covered in dust. When the dust cleared up, Brigia was surprised to see that the attacks did not touch Ronan and Saranti. When Brigia looked to her side, she saw Ronan placing Saranti on some rocks. Brigia was surprised to see that Ronan was able to dodge her attacks. She told Ronan that he is a bit different. Ronan was angry to see the state which Saranti was in. He asked Sita to heal Saranti. He told Sita that he must save Saranti. Ronan grit his teeth and called Brigia a bastard. He told her that her organization has destroyed someone's forge and placed a spy in the Duke's family. Ronan unsheathed his sword. With a horrifying look on his face, Ronan told Brigia that her organization has a lot of courage for them to crawl into the temple. Ronan told Brigia that he will destroy Nebula Clagier. Brigia was surprised to hear what Ronan said. She told Ronan that he has met the children of their organization. Brigia remembered hearing about some bastard who was being killing their church believers. Brigia was surprised to see that Ronan was the bastard. While Brigia was thinking, Ronan rushed to attack her. Brigia easily dodged the attack. Ronan was surprised to see that Brigia easily dodged his attack. Upon seeing how Ronan moved, Brigia understood why the children of her church lost to Ronan. Ronan quickly moved back to create a gap between Brigia and himself. Brigia easily closed the gap and moved close to Ronan. She told Ronan that she is gaining an interest in him. Immediately she said this, Brigia attacked Ronan. Ronan was able to block the attack with his sword. Brigia asked Ronan to show her more. Ronan's hand shook when he took on Brigia's attack. Ronan could tell that Brigia was very strong. He was annoyed to see that Brigia was reading his attacks despite not trying hard. Ronan realized that he had to settle the fight quickly. Ronan moved close to Brigia and began to attack her ferociously. Brigia easily parried Ronan's attacks. Brigia laughed as she blocked Ronan's attacks. She told Ronan that she is starting to like him. Ronan was annoyed to see that Brigia was not taking him seriously. Brigia believed that it would be a shame to kill Ronan. She asked Ronan to join Nebula Clagier. She told Ronan that she will take care of him if he joins their church. Ronan told Brigia that she is saying nonsense. Brigia was disappointed to hear this. 
She told Ronan that he does not actually have a choice. Brigia moved her fingers. Immediately she did this. Different attacks pierced Sarani's body. Saranti screamed in pain as this happened. Brigia told Ronan that she will kill Saranti if he refuses her offer. She told Ronan that she will make Saranti's death as painful as possible. Ronan's head ticked when he heard this. His hand began to tremble. Saranti summoned his remaining strength and asked Ronan to escape. With a horrifying smile on her face, Brigia told Ronan that Sarani's life depends on his choice. With a terrifying look on his face, Ronan told Brigia that his choice is to cut her into pieces. Ronan called Brigia a crazy bastard and used his sword to push her back. Brigia quickly put herself together and rushed to attack Ronan. She told Ronan that his attitude makes her want him more. Ronan was annoyed to hear this. He and Brigia began to attack each other at a frightening speed. As Brigia and Ronan clashed swords, Saranti watched them from afar. As Saranti slowly lost consciousness, he called out Ronan's name. Ronan jumped up and got ready to land a heavy attack on Brigia. Brigia smiled when she saw Ronan in the air. She was quite excited to fight Ronan. She did not remember the last time she was able to clash swords with someone on Ronan's level. When Ronan got close to Brigia, he swung his sword with a large amount of energy. Unfortunately for Ronan, Brigia stopped his attack with her hand. Brigia believed that it would be a waste for her to kill Ronan. Ronan was shocked to see that Brigia stopped his attack. Brigia asked Ronan to stay put. With a creepy look on her face, Brigia told Ronan that she might accidentally kill him. Immediately she said this. Brigia used her magic to pierce Ronan's chest. Ronan screamed when this happened. Brigia let go of Ronan's hand and took a stance. With a creepy smile on her face, Brigia told Ronan that he will see the light of the star the next time he opens his eyes. Guys we have come to the end of our video. If you guys want part 24 of this video, let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button for more recaps. See you guys later.